life from the manual control bunker. Grab a bag of peanuts and a cold glass of prune juice. Pull up a stool and prepare yourself for de 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 Extra's Daily do 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 Use. A solid two hour long log of hot, steaming gameplay from my favorite employer. Man, 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 man is Dextra. This stream brought to you by my Amazon affiliate link. Your one-stop shop for Battletech Legends novels on Kindle. And as always, even if you're not a reader and you should be, you can do any or all of these things to support the channel. Greetings, mercenaries, mech warriors, and the merely curious. Manus Dextra here with episode three of a new vanilla career with all the DLC sprinkles. So in this episode, we're going to keep on sucking up to the Davians as we do arena missions and search for the best commander's mech. So saddle up buttercups, it's time to make the donuts. All right, so hate everybody in chat. Hope uh, life is treating you well today. And uh, yeah, I think we have a, got at least At least one arena contract I think we're going to do. I'm not so sure about this one since it's restricted to mediums. We don't have, uh, we don't have a great lineup of mediums yet, but I think we can definitely do this one since it has a uh, 400 ton limit. At least we can try it anyway. It might be our first mulligan. All right. <clears throat> yeah, since this is completely open, I think we'll definitely. Yeah, I'm going to drop. Dropping the grasshopper. Now we do have the centurion set up as fire supports. So we might go ahead and leave them in there, but uh I don't think I've I don't think I've actually dropped with AI controlling my other grasshopper yet, so I ought to double check some uh fire groups on that. see yeah we got good we got good cooling so <clears throat> we'll try like that I don't think I've got anything else Yeah, I don't think there's anything else worth dropping. This uh, this Hunchback J is going to be a pretty nice addition when it gets uh, finished refitting. That's going to be that's going to be medium lasers and uh, SRMs, and I might use that myself as a. Uh, medium commander's mech but yeah anyway i think we're gonna go ahead and uh i think we'll drop like this hopefully we won't get uh our butts kicked too hard since this is only a difficulty 20. enough build up enough talk it's time to find out which mech warrior will I'm seize locked. the moment and come out on top. Get ready, fans. The match is set to go. Let's 
Show map. Show map. Close map. Close map. All right. I don't think we'll be completely outclassed on this one. It looks like what three Next spotted. Well, yeah, it's on my tango. Copy. Commander target is our target. ugly showing out there. <laughs> Fresh meat to fodder. Damn it. Oh, that sucks right there. Huh. So that hunch, hunchback P would be would have been pretty nice to have, but uh, unfortunately we can't take it. <clears throat> so I guess we'll have to settle for the Irby. Hmm. Yep. They're taking off one more leg. Might have been able to afford that. All right, we got to quit messing around, though. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Do we want to take, you know what? I don't think we're going to take, I don't think we're going to do the second one. We'll, we'll, we'll double check it, but yeah, that was restricted to mediums and yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to do that one. All right. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I got to remember the uh, grasshopper is still relatively fragile and uh need to be a little more careful with it. Does have a lot of firepower though. I mean that uh that hundred and what yeah, hundred and twelve point it's probably by far the highest. I don't think we got anything else anywhere approaching that kind of firepower. 
I think we're gonna go ahead and get everybody repaired. Double check the equipment market before we jump out of here. I think we may try to do another arena mission. Might jump up here and see about check these missions out. <clears throat> Medium dual. It's a 55 ton limit. We'll have to look and see. I don't. Might do this one though. I think we're going to do. I think we'll do that one. Yeah, so that's supposed to be a duel, but I, th I think we could probably, especially since that's only difficulty 20. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Combatants are primed and ready for another intense battle. All right. Arm lock. It really matters since this doesn't have anything important in the arms. Griffin. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we could probably handle one measly old Griffin. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, see, normally in the in a duel, he has no weapon systems. I guess he could maybe headbutt me. Can we take the other torso without without coring him out. That's what you call playing with your food. <laughs> I 
right. Damn. No salvage. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh... Wow, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I gotta remember that from now on. I think we're gonna go. I think we'll we'll go for maximum C bills from now on. Uh, oh well. Oh yeah, this was uh, two missions, wasn't it? Light free for all. So it looks like we'll have to change mechs. But I wonder. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because I know. Hmm. So I know we can get C bills out of them. All right, so this was a. Light free for all. I think that's probably. I think I've got all three of these set up the same now, except we got higher grade weapons on that one. I guess I ought to give them different names so I can differentiate, but. All right. He Double check those weapon groups. All right, that's simple enough. Prime time coming to you from inside the arena, and we're primed and ready for another intense Unlock. match where our combatants are looking to send their opponent to the scrap heap. Just another day at the office for these guys, Jackson. Hmm. Let's see what, uh, target acquired. new target, Locust. Chill map. Chill map. Close map. Close map. All right. We'll take our time heading up here into the fray and let, uh, target acquired. Now we're talking, it looks like they're about to rain down fire on each other. I hope they brought their umbrellas. Yep. Damn, Me an too. ammo blast just cooked off. More explosive than when I eat a plate of hot wings. Gross. Cotton, this could be a turning point. His weapon systems have been damaged. This could spell trouble. I can spell trouble already. T-R-B-L, trouble. Erroneous. All right. Cotton, this could be a tipping point right here. His leg just got blown right off. He will definitely tip over if he loses another leg, Jackson. Hmm. Guess they're on the other end. There they are. 
New target, Spider. Target acquired. Damn. Well, that kind of sucks. The pace has really hit a wall here. Looks like they're moving underwater. It's slow and steady might win the race, Jackson, but it won't keep anyone awake. sure what those three are doing besides uh i guess maybe they are finally oh shit holy crap cotton tore their leg clean off now things really kicked off in here get it target destroyed Cotton, this is a big moment mm. here. One of his weapons has been taken out. He could be in serious trouble. I know I would be soiling myself in the cockpit, Jackson. That was too much information. Damn! He'll have to battle through without one of his legs now. It will take some real leg work for him to win now. We're at a critical stage here. One of his weapons is out of commission. This could really shift the momentum. I'd be scribbling SOS messages in the cockpit, Jackson. Uh oh. Out there, that machine won't be running any mechanical yep. odds anytime soon. <laughs> he lost more than the leg, he lost the match. So, it looks like when you do these, it doesn't really matter where you do these matches. Because no matter where you're at, you, you're still going to have to, like, uh, earn arena fame. And I think you, I think you'll get the same level of matches, no matter where you're at. Like we did get a few more uh, opportunities for salvage. I don't think we're. Yep. We might use all these points up. <laughs> it's not going to be. Uh... <laughs> well, I guess it's always good to stock up on single heat sinks. Ooh, yeah. I got to use up all our points. That's all right, though. Got some decent sea bills. All right, I think we'll go ahead and send this guy to cold storage. <clears throat> Double check the markets. I don't think there's. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> if there's anything in the markets we can't live without. And I think we'll pass on those herbies. All right. 
So. Oh, do we have another? Let's see what this other arena contract is. Medium duel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I meant to check. Let's see what we have. You know what? Let's go ahead and wait for the uh, Hunchback J to get done. And then I think we'll go ahead and uh, I guess we need to get repairs started on everybody else while we're, while we're waiting. All right. Yeah, I think that's. I was saying though, we'll go ahead and let the Hunchback J get repaired. And then I think we'll go ahead and do that. Double check our uh, fire groups and we'll try that Hunchback. Yeah, we'll try the Hunchback J out. Yeah, looks like we need to. Yeah, that's good enough. Get the yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I hope. Yeah, I really don't like SRM streaks, but uh That's by far the... Oh, what the hell? Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Go tier two. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was laser zone one and missile zone two. Fight a duel against a medium mech sponsored by our competitor, Vest. We can do that. All right. And again, I think we'll go for C bills. Hunchback J is a good variant. Kind of, I like the Hunchback P with, uh, Stuffed full of heat sinks and medium We've lasers is pretty nice too, way. though. This will be interesting to right. see if these mech warriors come out guns Arm lock. blazing, or if they take more of a Arm conservative lock. approach right out of the gate. Of course, I don't know how this is going to do without, uh, or if it's got enough heat management. I think it probably does. I think it's up to like a two. Not bad. New target, Shadow Hawk. Oh, damn. So definitely just took a hit. Let's see if that shifts the momentum here. 
Yeah, Ava, I think it might. <laughs> yeah, definitely might have some heat issues with this. You have to be careful. You can't really uh, resist the urge to do too many alpha strikes. Probably all right if you just alternate between lasers. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we'll do it like that. Just alternate between lasers and SRMs probably would be okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those herbies, man. We need to go find some. We need to go shopping. We could buy... A nice mech with all that, uh, all those sea bells we got. All right. So I think, yeah, I think what we ought to do right now, I wanted to do some, uh, ah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go do that multi-drop operation for the, for the Federated Suns. Yeah, we still, I mean, we've got, we've got a lot of time, but we need to get. So go ahead and get everybody repaired. <clears throat> we still have quite a bit of time, but we need, because I think. I think Operation Galahad and the Fourth Succession War doesn't start for... He's like 3026, maybe? But yeah, anyway, we still need to get on better terms with uh, the Federated Sons. So, yeah, I think we'll jump over and... Uh, yeah. Might just do all those contracts, as a matter of fact. Hey, Jeffrey, how's it going? Uh, so the plan for today is... Uh, <laughs> add quality tonnage and suck up to the Federated Sons before the Fourth Succession War like it was... Uh, just talking about and also try to work our way up the rungs on the uh, arena fighting circuit <clears throat> it looks like the way that works you just have to uh, it doesn't matter where you're at you've got to grind your way through I guess earning earning rep as an arena fighter before you can get to uh before you can get to the big times just before Duncan Fisher is going to want you to pair up with him <laughs> oh yeah this is what we need right here this is a suck up to the Davians smorgasbord Let's see about this one that's battlefield demo and targeted kill it's only 160 tons. I think we could probably handle this. And the Torians hate us anyway, so. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and see if we can do this. I think we probably can. All right. So, Bromhead. Bromhead 8 is currently besieged by invading forces on all fronts. We're in the process of evacuating our key Fazillion settlements, but there's far too much pressure from invading forces. We're looking to hire any willing mercenary companies to cause a diversion and allow us to evacuate our civilians in time. Yep, we can do that for you. scarf up on uh, those big fat bonuses too. Alright, let's see. This is 
Oh yeah, this is war zone. We ought to be able to get some good salvage out of that. Yeah, we don't need money anyway, so we'll max out on salvage. We're reading heavy weather warnings out there, Commander. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Hmm. 160 tons. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop in the hunchback. We got... Might as well go ahead and give some of these... Uh, low point mech warriors a little training time as well yeah hunchback j is i think it's gonna be all right except for yeah pro probably is gonna have some heat issues i guess we'll find out though oh, wait a minute See, let's go ahead and Throw in now. You know what? We'll do that. Yeah, still puts us five tons over, but that'll yeah, be all right. Well, it'll be all right as long as the hunchback doesn't overheat. <laughs> on this front so take care not Arm to lock. overextend your stay here but if you do stick around our employers are offering a competitive combat bonus if we can continue to hold off enemy forces past our negotiated timetable hmm Yeah, like I was saying, I think the hunchback will be okay as long as I can uh, avoid trying to alpha strike all the time. Seeing multiple tangos on scope converging on your current position. So we got only got eleven to get. This would be a piece of cake. Show map. Close map. Close map. Target acquired. <clears throat> Lance, form on me. Following your lead. 
New target, Panther. I don't know. We got pretty toasty. Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. I don't like uh That's why I don't like stream SRMs because uh, they're a lot easier to miss with. They're great. They're great if you hit, you get that pinpoint damage, but. over your uh don't walk over your victories when they're going critical all right right on cue beetle on approach Bogey ahead. man it's only tango negative on the target order target destroyed target acquired <clears throat> yeah, I definitely need to change out those SRMs. I'm just still not a good enough shot to be able to use those stream SRM streams effectively. Streams or streaks or whatever. I guess it's streams. Target destroyed. Yeah. Three more. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. <laughs> well, I definitely, uh, Igor, I definitely know those, uh, those things are better for people who are uh, better shots than me. Oh, I've got a lucky hit on them. But yeah, I'm a lot better. I'm a lot better with the ones that uh, kind of cluster up and act like shotguns. Two lucky hits. Uh oh. 
Target acquired. Target acquired. All right. Get one of those. Mission complete, Commander. Every kill from here out is bonus pay. Stick around <sighs> as long as you like, but don't get too overconfident. Yeah. Enemy forces still have a sizable hold of this area. Fall back to the mark now point when you're ready for evac. Yeah, we got uh, three more missions to do on this contract. I think we're going to go ahead and bug out. Ah. Lance, form on me. Yeah, I think this... Uh, on you, Commander. I think this hunchback would be all right if I get uh, get some different SRMs on it. It'd be nice if I had some double heat sinks to go on it too, but uh, I think we can we can make do with what we got for now, anyway. Yeah, Igor, I don't I don't know, man. I think I think for me it's I think it's probably just like a psychological thing. I probably miss as often with standard SRMs as I do the uh the streams, but the difference is man, when you miss with those with the with the stream SRMs, you could definitely tell cuz I mean yeah, it's uh contract successful. Time to get paid. Of course, I I think it just it doesn't look quite so bad when you're, you know, when you fire regular standard SRMs and like you know, 3 quarters of them miss anyway, you know, even if you just hit with a couple of them, it seems like uh I don't know, it seems like it's more effective. It's probably not. Probably not overall. But uh I don't know. <laughs> I think it may, mainly boils down to the fact that I'm a bad shot. Hmm. Let that Jenner P. Not really. But I don't have anything else to spend our money on, so I think we'll take we'll take those two and. Uh, Send the rest of those points forward on the, for the next drop. Hmm. I think everybody did okay. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility and have an effect on your sensors. Hmm. let's go ahead and lucky for me i've got uh got a lot of fire starters i think we're gonna go fast for this one i think we'll go Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we'll do it like this. to burn it to the ground and leave nothing left to be used by hostile forces good hunting show map close map close map Betty close map <laughs> all right Yeah, everybody should be fast enough to keep up, so we'll just sprint over to this place and hopefully we can take out the garrison units and raise it to the ground like uh Our target is now marked. Go get them. Shit! We've got incoming max bring them off. Incoming missile. Let's take that tank apart. One of our assigned targets is flying in. Yeah, it's on the tango. Yeah. Focus target updated. Target is down. New target pen. Target acquired. One more mech out for the fight. All right. Target destroyed. Tango eliminated. Crap. Gone. 
No one's going to be able to utilize this complex for quite a bit. Time to get out of here, Commander. Target down. Uh. Scrub one. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yikes. Man, I didn't mean to lose an arm over that guy. <laughs> well. Pack it up, Commander, before more enemies arrive. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I definitely didn't mean to lose an arm over chasing that little commando around like that. But, uh, uh well, I guess we could take him. Take him and his brother and still have a lot of points left over. Unfortunately. Yeah, I don't remember what that last drop is. I think it's... It was a garrison, or... Or, yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it is. It was a... Uh... Wait a minute. Yeah, I guess everybody did okay on their damage dealt, although on demo missions, that doesn't always mean a lot. Yeah, that's right. Assassination mission on this last one. I think we're going to drop... I think we're going to drop relatively heavy on this one. Just because... You know, yeah, I think we're going to drop real heavy. I think we're going to drop like that. Yeah, I think we're going to drop it like this. What what could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. <clears throat> Warning. Hangar door is opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All right. Intel is spotty on this one. Arm lock. Our best estimates put the target Arm at lock. any one of the marked locations on the map. You will have to get eyes on the target before we can identify Show them. map. Someone wants this one dead, and we're happy to oblige. Close map. Yeah, on paper. Yeah, these these two heavy mechs should just completely outclass anything we're likely to encounter on this uh, on this contract. In theory, <laughs> yeah, in practice, we could get swarmed and uh, cored out by. Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better luck at the other locations. Right on cue. VTOL on approach. Target destroyed. Hey, you know what? I think we're going to go back down the other way. Let's just see what happens. I imagine we're probably going to end up having to... having to face whatever the garrison forces were at that first location anyway. Enemy destroyed. 
Although if it's just urban mechs or something, they may have, uh, might have some trouble catching up with us. Show map. Show map. Close map. Oh, Igor, I'm using, uh, the reason I can give, uh, voice commands is because I'm using a third party program called voice attack. So if you've got, if you have steam, you could actually get it on steam. If not, I think you can buy it. You can get it independently from the developer's website, but yeah, it's a program called Voice Attack, and you can use it on all kinds of different games. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. May it wait to the next nap point. We might have more luck there. Target acquired. Enemy armor spotted. Hmm. Yikes. All right, you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and we might as well go ahead and <laughs> Might as well go ahead and see what's uh see what's waiting for us down in, in this area. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Target spider. Yep. Target acquired. Target destroyed. <laughs> Watch out. Uh oh. This is going cool. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what the hell that was. enough ready to start pickup operation brilliant <clears throat> payload acquired wow you know i was afraid we we're gonna draw out a bunch of mechs and stuff from these other two locations over here but uh luckily we haven't yet so i think we're gonna try to tiptoe past them Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that uh, with that spider. Occasionally, though, you get weird, crazy ragdoll effects like that. But I don't think I've ever seen one wait until the mech was about to explode because it was going critical. Yeah, man. Target urban mech. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We were going to draw out some more bad guys from these locations over here. We're going to go ahead and... better all right so we know all of the bad guys are gonna have to show up here target acquired if you find the acquisition just walk up to it uh -oh. in order to pick it up. Oops. All right. Package acquired. 
grenade. Target destroyed. Target Commander, I've marked it on your tack screen. Destroy. Target acquired. All right, that's um. <clears throat> a javelin. <laughs> wow. And I dropped the two heavies. Dark when you get back to the ship's circling. Wow. New target blackjack. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Oh. <clears throat> target destroyed. <laughs> wow. All right. So where's Xfil? That must be one of the tanks we contracted for. <laughs> Man. Feel kind of bad about this thing now. the heck oh. yeah I feel kind of bad now dropping with uh, two Back heavies dropping with two heavies to take out a uh, javelin Although the uh, a javelin had a uh, had a blackjack escort, I had to go ahead and take that. We'll take that urban mech as well, since otherwise we will not be able to spend all of our uh, salvage points. I'm sure. I think that works okay. Hmm. Faction standings. That's yeah, we're getting. Gaining a little bit of headway with House Davy, and we still got plenty of time, though. Although, if we earn earn a couple of more points, we'll just. I guess we we could probably go ahead and just.
So I know we have to have some conflict zones in these areas. We'll probably, we may just do some exploring and go out over this way so we can locate some of these and uh, maybe find some better contracts to do for the Davians. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> probably ought to put some of our, uh, but some of our captures, I think we got all of these on that last contract. That was not too bad, actually. We'll put these guys in cold storage. You know, actually, Igor, I just play, I guess a lot of times, like, like this time when I started this new con, this new career, yeah, I chose House Lauv just because I like, I like their starting lance, or at least I like the fact that there's a fire starter in their starting lance, but yeah, mostly... Like right now, the only reasons I'm sucking up to the Davians is because I know that when we do the Kestra Lancers campaign DLC, we're going to make the most money uh, on that on that campaign if we're in if we're in good standing with the Federated Sons. But yeah, I mean, I, I think I've said it before is when you're playing like during the 30 25 time period every faction is pretty much a bad guy <laughs> or at least no fat no one faction is any worse than any of the others so yeah i really don't have a favorite faction i'm just mostly like i said i'm i'm sucking up to the davians because i know when we do the kestrel lancer campaign i'll make more money that way but yeah, probably if it wasn't for that, I don't know. I kind of like the Steiners, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I really don't have a favorite. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let's see if it's not going to cost too much to go ahead and get everybody patched up here. I think we'll... Yeah, I think the only... Only mech that's in really bad shape is this one. We'll look at, look at it... Specifically... Yeah, penalty's not too much. I think we'll go ahead and do field repairs on everybody see that's a assassination in a battlefield all right Yep, I think we'll do this one first. All right, when you are in a constant state of war, you'll do anything to get the upper hand. In this case, we need to rely on your services, mercenary. We believe several high-ranking enemy targets are somewhere on Bromhead. Bromhead? Yeah, I guess that's how you say that, Bromhead. We'll pay handsomely for your efforts in eliminating these targets. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're still doing okay on C bills. Uh, well, I was going to say we're doing okay on C bills, so we'll load up on salvage. Unfortunately, I guess we'll take what we can get. Huh. Good take an airstrike since we have extra points. I remember to use it. The 
mission area is under a heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility for you. <clears throat> All right, get our other. Yeah, I think I'll drop. I'll drop in the hunchback just in case we, uh. Need a little extra firepower on this one, I think. Yeah, I probably don't want to do that. I think, what, well, how'd we do that last time? I think we did. I think we'll do it like that. <clears throat> There's a good chance our targets have split up in order to evade us. The more locations Unlocked. on the map are the most likely areas where we'll find them. Be careful, as they have many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. Mm. Airstrike support is available on this mission. I'll let you know when they reach the target area. Show map. Close map. Yeah, I gotta remember what my airstrike button is too. I, I hit it by accident all the time on my mouse, but I don't <laughs> I don't remember which uh Contact! Button mech. I remember what button it actually is. Mech one one, if this is Sierra two one, we are prime for assault. Standing by for your tango confirmation. Sierra two one, over. <clears throat> Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Uh -oh. Our target must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Target acquired. All right. probably stay ahead of the Irby, but we might as well yeah we might as well go ahead and take him out I keep forgetting Irby's are dangerous. <laughs> At least until you shoot that big damn gun off the side of them anyway. Like you might have tagged fire starter once or twice. Alright. Alright, no more no more messing around. We gotta uh moving in to investigate. 
Show map. Hmm. Lowe's map. Lowe's map. That matches the class of beast hole we're after. Take it out. Lowe's map. Uh oh. Man. Glad I noticed uh, we lost one of our lance mates over here. Haven't had that happen in a long time, but uh, occasionally they, it seems like, especially with this kind of terrain or terrain that's got a lot of junk in it, mechs do like to get <clears throat> lost or hung up in the terrain. Lance, form on me. With you. Yeah, especially that kind of stuff right there. I don't know what it is about their pathfinding. Lance, form on me. On your trail, Commander. But yeah, stuff like stuff like that definitely screws their pathfinding up a lot. Usually when that happens though, on the rare occasion that happens anymore, I could I catch it before I get that far away from it. The, the stranded mech. All right. So yeah, I think we want to go north. Target. Our employer wants this area cleared of all tanks. Target is down. Target destroyed. Hmm. Target destroyed. Yeah. Well, that's form on me. Follow the commander. Show map. So I think we're going to go try to check out that farthest point of interest first. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Close map. Close map. All right. There's the object. Be sure to put that ammo to good use. All right. Lance, form on me. Forming on you. All right. So if we're lucky, all of our targets will be up here at this, uh, at that farthest. farthest location and we won't have to fight through the uh that location down at the southern end of the map. Walk on up to the treasure uh -oh. to pick it up. 
Man, looks like we're finding a lot of extra treasure this way, too. Cargo acquired. Yeah, so I'm trying to outsmart the game a little bit because it seems like most of the time your targets end up being at like the last and farthest location that you have to scout out. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Of course, of course, now that I'm doing it this way, we'll get up here and uh, none of our targets will be here and we'll have to f and we'll have to fight these guys anyway and walk all the way back down to that other point of interest. So much ego. <clears throat> target acknowledged. Uh. IFF readings are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Approach with caution. Let's go. Land target received. signature from the targets looks like we got them all now let's Yikes. pack it in before their friends arrive well yeah i think we're gonna uh call ourselves lucky for uh for not getting anybody cored out and uh yeah let's get to let's get to the xville site hmm Yeah, I really need to get some uh need to get some more heat management on this uh on this hunchback. It's not a, it's not a bad mech, but Yeah, we definitely need some uh double heat sinks <sighs> or something on it. Take it easy, Igor. Maybe we'll see you on the next stream, guy. All right. Well, see you.
you next time, Philip. Yeah, Hunchback H would have been nice to have, but, uh, hmm. So we can settle for the... Yeah, I guess we'll settle for that Vulcan. And an LRM-10. Yep, I think everybody did okay. All right, so. Better go ahead and move that to cold storage. Damn it. Bet I don't have a replacement for that. Yep. See that sucks. Hmm. Ah, it's not too bad, I guess. Actually, Yeah, let's see what I've got in... Oh, yeah, I already looked at that once, didn't I? I guess we could put... I only had... Yeah, I guess we'll put up with those uh, SRM6 streams until we can find at least... At least one more of those. Yeah, anyway... Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do field repairs on everybody. And we got one more. Yeah, we got one more. Federated Sons contract here. We'll go ahead and take this. So we have intel that House Lao forces have a detachment doing secret maneuvers on Bromhead 5. Your job is to get their attention and distract them for as long as possible while we block their only means of escape. Obviously, the more of them you can disable, the better. Sure thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this with, uh, go ahead and run our two grasshoppers again. Just because, I don't think we'll have any trouble. Yeah, shouldn't have any trouble finishing that one. These two. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor on 
will inevitably overrun this area, but we have been tasked with holding them back for as long as possible. We have substantial combat bonus opportunities the longer you can hold them off, but be sure not to overextend yourself. Right. Yeah, 64 kph definitely moving in commander get ready for them as i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted 64 kph <laughs> seems a lot slower in this uh in a grasshopper than it does in the uh hunchback I guess that's I guess that's because the height of the cockpit from the ground. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely kind of feel myself leaning forward a little bit. All units, hostile mix inbound. Prepare to engage. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. <laughs> One of our assigned targets is flying in. New target, Vindicator. Yep. We will go serve that Vindicator up with a Vindicator. nice, big, hot, steaming cup of PPCX. Yep. More enemies inbound. Seems like two helpings really of PPC is. Watch out. Yeah, about two helpings of PPC is just about all anybody seems to want. <laughs> Lance, I'm gonna tell you go. On your target. Boom. Over the beehive here, <laughs> Commander. More hostiles inbound. New target, Vulcan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, I guess I am giving him a double serving anyway, but target. Yeah. right on cue. Vito on approach. Target destroyed. Target Stay frosty, Commander. Oh, yeah. Frosty is where I live. Target acquired. Hmm.
Yeah, I was trying to think. I don't think we've got very much. We don't have much in the way of salvage points here, I think. guys anyway I think we're gonna go ahead and cash it in happy you made it out of there alive commander stand by for pickup yep pretty happy about that myself all right yeah so Man, we got our pick of cicadas. <laughs> what would happen if we took everything but the cicadas? Can we do it? Too bad. I'm not sure. Not sure how effectively the uh, the AI can handle mechs with those with that PPC though. And you can see you can see right there the uh, what is it? You see projectile spread on this thing is seven meters at 120 meters which is pretty terrible but it's got a 600 meter range which means that i think on the whole the ai fires this thing or starts firing at it way too far a range yeah i don't know Yep, I don't know. We got we got a lot of sea bills though. I think we're gonna go do some exploring, or at least I think we're ready to try to get set up over in Davian territory. So let's go ahead and yeah, that's too far to jump. All right. Yeah, probably ought to go ahead and get these guys patched up. All right. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to go explore over here. Hopefully we can find cuz I know we've got I know we've got to have some uh some conflict zones over here to work work in. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Jeffrey. I think that's probably the next test to do with this is I'll go ahead and we'll do a couple more drops in it like it is. 
so we can see what kind of like an what kind of you know damage it's dealing but yeah i think let's look at that thing again here Oh, hell. I'm trying to pull that up, and I'm wondering, why is this not going to let me pull anything up? But yeah, yeah, I forgot. That's a... <laughs> yeah, I knew, we had, I knew we had a lot more stuff over here. But yeah, if you're not in the... If you're in an uninhabited or undeveloped system, for some reason, the game will not even allow you to pull your... Uh, pull your outfitting screen up at all. All right. Let's go ahead and I guess we can just yeah let's jump yeah we'll jump in here and All right, now we can take a look at it. Cause yeah, let's see that. Cause the main thing I'm worried about with this is the heat load. So that has a heat load of five. And eh. yeah, so. So the heat loads are a little bit higher, but yeah, rate of fire is much higher. So, yeah, I think we probably could just plop one of these a regular PPC in there and just compare, but yeah, I want to drop I want to drop a few more times like this and just get an average on what kind of damage what kind of damage it puts out with PPCX and then yeah we'll put a regular PPC in there and see if it's better or worse yeah my guess is that it probably will probably do more damage with the regular PPC all right yeah it looks like everybody's patched up so we might as well see about yeah go ahead and do it's Davian contract. All right, so a surprise attack has been executed on Nazina Ten, and our own and our only line of defense is a small and frankly under-equipped, under-skilled garrison force. Our main fleets are too far to reach them in time, so we're turning to any mercenary willing to come to their aid. All right, yeah, that is war zone. Two hundred and thirty tons. Cool. Looks like we got an opportunity to get some good salvage here. The extreme weather conditions will interfere with your sensors and will most likely restrict visibility. Be careful out there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I think we'll put, yeah, put that guy in there. All right.
Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. We are walking right into the thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold the tide of the enemy advance as long as possible. And then get the hell out of there. We will be on standby waiting for your extraction. Good hunting. Flee. Target acquired. Lance, on my tango. Target received. Engaging. Cool. Commander kills about to explode. Uh oh. Target acquired. Multiple tangos on Scorb converging on your current position. That's we'll is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. We'll say the damage effects for the PPCXs are are pretty good. <laughs> Target acquired. Yeah. Enemy destroyed. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. New target, Javelin. Enemy mech destroyed. Target acquired. <laughs> yeah, when you use the uh use that PPCX to take out a uh take out a, a jump jetting uh spider, it's even more like skeet. Watch out. Uh oh. That matches the class of VTOL we're after. Take it out. New target, Blackjack. Yeah, I guess I ought to rename this this grasshopper since it's got two of those PPCXs. I guess we ought to call it the double barrel. Target oh. acquired. Target acquired. 
champion. Man, it's on my tango. Cannot acquire target, Commander. Tango down. Destroy. Target acquired. <laughs> yeah, peekaboo there, buddy. Target is down. Target acquired. One more. Can we do it? Yeah. Ship and we'll get you out of there. <clears throat> yep, let's go ahead and cash in our chips. I want to see, I want to see what the grasshopper did. Or the other grasshopper. Target acquired. New target crab. Target acquired. Watch it. My last kill is Holy oh, mackerel. Hold. Damn, that was brutal. Target destroyed. Yikes. All right. I definitely like the PPCXs. I mean, they're it's kind of like the uh Stand by for pickup, Commander. Welcome home. It's kind of like the energy weapon equivalent of an SRM. And I mean, it's it's pretty nice. But yeah, I, th I think the a I think that 600 meter range and that huge spread, I think that's all there for a reason, and I think it's mainly there so th to make it so that the AI does not um isn't too good with it. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and take that champion. Might be uh, champion's not a bad mech. Crab's okay. I think champion out of the between those two though, I think I'd rather have a champion to play around with. Let's see, that champion, what kinda Yeah, it's, looks like it's got some pretty good hard points on it. Yeah. Hmm. Need that for a cantina mission. All right. Wow. Huh. All right, so the grasshopper didn't do terribly bad. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to, 
Just have to try it and see. Oh, this is this would be all right. <laughs> Get some of these. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to. Uh... Yeah, War Dog. We need to make some progress on that. I really want that top speed. <laughs> uh, top speed boost. Be a while before we get that, though. All right. Let's go ahead and get this other one. Yeah. Now, I think we're going to keep this champion out. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Because, yeah, the great good thing about a champion is despite appearances... It doesn't actually have any weapons in the arms. Despite that weird layout it has, all of that stuff is in the torso, which is good. All of its weapons are in the torso. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. I might use this mech. I normally don't like... Uh, Don't like 60 ton mechs. Oof. Yeah, that's the big problem was once you uh once you max out the armor. It's a whole lot there's a there are many fewer possibilities with these uh hard points. I think we'll probably and yeah, we'll have to look at it a yeah, because I don't have a lot of time. Got time to sneak in maybe one more drop, so we'll come back to this. Yep. All right. So, I think what we can do today, though... I'm not going to do that one. We'll go ahead and stick a regular PPC yeah we'll go ahead and stick a regular PPC in there and then we'll try to go do we'll go do that assassination contract all right So we'll put put that in there. All right. Yep, we'll leave the uh, leave fire groups just like they are. I think it'll be just fine, actually. All right. Let's see, where was that? Yeah, definitely am not going to do that one. Yeah, we'll go up here and do this.
The mission area is under a heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility for you. Wow. Yeah, that is a uh, that is a pretty damn big over tonnage penalty, I guess. Oh well, man, I am ten tons over. Shit. Yeah, we can fix that though. Because all I really care about here is. performance of that one we'll go ahead and drop a fire starter in there that makes everything better wow let's uh yeah yeah that'll be fine we'll go ahead and do that ah shit <laughs> group damn it <laughs> uh, maybe we'll make this drop Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility will be compromised out there. <laughs> so. Ah. Uh. All right. Yeah, I hit the uh I hit the go button and I and I was waiting for it to to give me this prompt and it didn't and I thought oh shit I forgot to uh, repair my Mac <laughs> which I guess I forgot to repair it when I was refitting it is what actually happened. Our targets have given our employer nothing but well. problems. We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you Our once block. the job is done. <laughs> All right, so show map. Yeah, close map. So we'll go down and get this, get that one, and then just cut across the map. Turn the, uh... New target, Hunchback. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Well, yeah, so much tango. Copy. Commander's target is our target. 
Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better luck at the other locations. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was wrong. New target. We're showing nothing on scopes that can be identified as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Yeah, it's all right. Lance, I'll let you go. Targeting info updated. Our employer wants this area cleared of all tanks. Target destroyed. Add one more to my kill count. Lance, well, yeah, on my tango. Focus target updated. IFF readings are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Approach with caution. Incoming missile. Target acquired. Shit. New target. Champion. Incoming missile. Oh, shit. Yeah. Offline. Target acquired. Yeah, this was bad. System offline. Yep. <laughs> All right. Pucker up, buttercups, because it's time for the mulligan drop. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Well, it was bound to happen. All right. Yeah, that was just me being dumb. Because I knew, I knew all of those guys were going to Let's see, what was this? Oh, yeah, this was like a... Uh... This is only 230 tons, though. Damn. Man, how did I get cored out on a 230-ton assassination mission? This group has proved uh... to be a nuisance for our employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. Probably from being stupid. All right, let's see. Let's look at this map again. Show map. Hmm. Damn, they're not really. Close map. Close map. Close map. Betty, close map. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and go up this way because if we go across the top of the map, it's not going to turn out any worse. <laughs> Target is down. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, it was mostly just me. I, I knew all the targets were going to be at that last location, and... I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. And yeah, that was just me being, uh... New target. Fire starter. Being stupid. Yeah, I knew all the targets were going to be there, and I mean, there's no guarantee that they're all going to be. That they're all going to be dangerous mechs, but. <laughs> but yeah, pretty good chance they would be. You know, even even 130 ton. Even just a hundred and thirty ton limit drop. Tango down. All right. Oops. So we're going to try to do this one without being uh, quite so careless and stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, also the uh, the grasshopper with the having uh, having a PPCX on the other grasshopper might might have actually turned that what turn that situation around since we were all close range. Chill map. Close map. All right. Enemy vehicles on the move. Enemy destroyed. Wow. Oh. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Target down and going critical. Destroy. Target acquired. Well, yeah, so much ain't go. Group target received. Yourself. Incoming missile. Damn. Incoming missile. New target trebuchet. Damn. 
damn. Holy shit! Wow. I don't think. Yeah, I think this might be a true mulligan, guys. Ha! Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no. I'm gonna let the AI have this one. Wow, I've not, you know, this is the first time I've had a true mulligan in a long time. I'm going to have to, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to change the uh, thumbnail on this one, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, we still got half of this target lance. Wow. Commander, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Yep. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't have time to uh, be humiliated with this one again today anyway so uh so yeah we're gonna have to call this one a true mulligan <laughs> oh yeah and on this uh, on this unhappy note man because uh because guys i really got to get the hell out of here we're gonna have to uh uh unfortunately call it a stream Damn, I cannot believe how bad that turned out, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was more than just the missiles, Jeffrey, but, um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> they didn't, uh, I think it was the, I think it was the missiles and I think it was that Zeus as well. And all those other mechs that just kept coming out of the woodwork. But, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to have to call that, uh, call it a stream here. So I'm going to take the time to, uh, thank everybody for showing up to support the stream. And, um, if, <laughs> if all goes well, uh yeah philip definitely mulligan monday if all goes well we'll be back on wednesday hopefully to play a little bit better but uh yeah we'll be back uh same mech warrior time same mech warrior channel to try to do it all again but uh until then now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. <laughs>